What is the best beginner hamster? If you ask a lot of people, they're probably going to say that the Syrian hamster is the best species for a first-time hamster owner. I actually disagree with this. There are five species of hamster. Syrian hamster, the Chinese hamster, the Roborovsky dwarf, the winter white dwarf, well as the Campbell's dwarf. The Syrian hamster are the biggest species. This makes them easier to handle and easier to tame. Some people say they're more friendly towards humans. But this isn't always the case with every single Syrian hamster. You have to keep in mind that every single hamster, no matter the species is going to have their own individual personality, just like any dog, just like any human. Some Syrian hamsters will not be easy to tame. Syrian hamsters have a ton of energy and will easily get bored with a small cage and try to escape at every opportunity. They still try to continuously try and escape, bar chew, cage pace, no matter how large the cage. You should provide a cage with at least 800 square inches of floor space. If you really don't have the space and you don't have the means to be able to give them more and more because they always seem to want more, I probably wouldn't suggest one as a first-time hamster. The next species we have is the Chinese hamster. They tend to be a little bit more shy, timid. But of course, once again, it really comes down to their individual personality. The next species we have is the Roborovsky dwarf. This species is going to be your least recommended for first-time hamster owners. Robots do have a lot of energy and they can be a little bit harder to tame or handle. But once again, not the case for every single Roborovsky. You can get a friendly Robo. It also may just take a little bit more time and patience to actually tame them. I believe that Robos are a lot less friendly than Syrians because Roborovskis have not been domesticated nearly as long as these Syrian species. Robos can be tamed with just a little bit of patience and time. It may take a little more time, and you might not end up having a super cuddly hamster who's going to sit on your hand and want to cuddle with you. They probably will want to run around a lot more. This shouldn't discourage you from wanting to own one, as long as you keep those things in mind. The Winter White Dwarf and the Campbell's Dwarf. Unfortunately, these two species are the only two species that can interbreed with each other. Then unfortunately, someone did that. We now have hybrids, which are all over the world and it's very, very, rare to find a purebred Winter White or a purebred Campbell's Dwarf because most of the time they're all hybrids. Though small and can move very quickly these dwarf hamsters can be tamed. They're not always energetic. Some will be pleased to just sit in your hand and groom themselves and eat treats from your hand. Check out our video on how to tame your hamster. Every single hamster is going to have their own individual personality. This is what matters most, not the species. When you're looking into getting your first hamster, I suggest looking at all the species and going with which one you're most drawn to. Interact with them, pick them up, and see what their personalities are going to be like. One thing that you should always remember is if you see a hamster on Instagram and you see them being super friendly and cuddly and affectionate, please keep in mind, not every hamster is like that. Hamsters, like us, have individual personalities. Some hamsters are way friendlier than others. Some will very much enjoy human interaction. And some just won't. You can't really tell that until you bring them home and tame them and bond with them. So please keep that in mind. In conclusion, there's no right or wrong answer for which is the best beginner hamster. It depends on the hamster. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now so you don't miss out. More great hamster videos full of tips and advice on caring for your cute hamster. And as a responsible hamster owner, make sure that you have pet insurance in case your hamster needs an operation. Simple Google the best pet insurance companies and compare the various premiums. If you look, you'll find a pet insurance plan you can afford.